Chapter 6. Arrays. Arrays, like variables, allow you to store information for later use. The difference with arrays is that they allow you to store many pieces of information using a common name. It's like storing a bunch of variables inside another variable. Arrays can store any type of data that PHP supports. The values in a given array can even be different types of information, like strings and numbers. To store a value inside an array, we need to indicate where that value is to be stored inside the array. This is done using square brackets after the variable name containing a key or index. The obvious problem with the earlier version of our unit converter was that it only converts and shows one value. Using arrays, we'll show you how this program can be made much better. Let's start out by taking a look at example 5 in our browser before we get into the code. Instead of just one converted value this time, we actually have a table with multiple values. This is definitely more useful, although there's still room for a little bit of improvement here. Let's take a look at how we've modified this example to use arrays. Notice that our previous from quantity variable has been replaced with an array. Defining the array like this allows us to initialize it with the values given within brackets. Each value is separated by a comma. We can see here that the values are the numbers 1 through 5, but where are the keys we talked about before? PHP lets you deal with arrays that have inferred numerical keys as well as explicit ones. The first line here is interpreted as though each value was given a sequential numeric key, as in the second line. This means that the key for the first value, 1, would be 0. Likewise, the key for the second value, 2, would be 1, and so on. Ordinarily, there's no need to specify the keys when they're just going to be sequential numbers. Whether a key is inferred or explicit, all arrays in PHP are associative. This means that for each element in an array, there's always a key-value pair. More commonly than numbers, strings are usually used as keys for arrays in PHP. This way, you can logically organize the data stored in an array as key and value pairs. Since arrays can also be stored within other arrays, multiple levels of organization can be achieved. Have a look at this array declaration. This is similar to what we'll use later on in our unit converter. Here, we have an array that contains two other arrays. Each of the inner arrays is an element in the outer array. When an array is contained within another one like this, it's said to be nested. Using strings as keys is much easier because we don't need to be concerned about the order that the elements are in in the array, and strings are far easier to remember than numbers. Reading from or writing to an element of an array is the same as for a variable, except that you need to specify the key for the element you're interested in. Here, the initialization for the two quantities array takes each element from the from quantities array and multiplies it by the conversion rate. An important observation to be made here is that the first initialization is all done on one line, while the second spans multiple lines. PHP ignores extra white space, that is, any groups of spaces, tabs, and carriage returns are all effectively treated as a single space. Spacing things for the sake of readability is almost as important and effective as proper commenting. Just imagine how hard these examples would be to read if all the code was on one line with no spaces. White space can be used to help organize your code visually by grouping lines that are related and separating those that aren't. Scrolling down in this file, we can see that there were some changes made in the template section as well. Here, we're outputting all of the array elements using the echo command. This yields the nicely formatted table of converted values that we saw at the start of this chapter. Once you've mastered variables, arrays are just the next logical step. Here are some highlights from this chapter. Arrays can be thought of as variables that hold groups of other variables. Elements, or individual pieces of arrays, are accessed using a key or index. This is most often a number or a string. 
When initializing an array where the keys will be sequential numbers, the keys can be inferred and don't need to be specified. Finally, whitespace is an important tool for visually organizing your code. Pay attention to how we've formatted various parts of these examples and you'll be on your way to writing high-quality PHP code in no time.